5 Reasons Why Establishing Rapport in a Classroom is Important Do teachers' interactions with students matter? After all, a teacher's role in the classroom is to facilitate the transfer of knowledge or skill, in such a manner that a learner can accomplish a specific outcome. Is it necessary for a teacher to know students' weekend plans, or when Sally is going to take her driver's test? Does no student's interest give a teacher an advantage when it comes to selecting the methodology and techniques, he or she selects in teaching subject-specific knowledge or computer skills in a classroom? If the answer to the above questions is yes, then how can a teacher best establish rapport in the classroom that leads to effective teaching? 1. Comforting students on the first day. Every class has the first day. On that first day rapport building begins at the classroom door. I believe teachers should stand outside the classroom door, greeting students with familiar faces in the hall with a hello, quick questions concerning their activities since you last met, and an invitation to stop by and catch up. New students should be greeted with a welcoming smile and an invitation to come into the classroom. Instructions should be given on seating arrangements. When a student walks into the classroom for the very first time, they can easily be overwhelmed. Use words, facial expressions, and hand gestures to reduce anxiety and increase the comfort level of students. 2. Creating Classroom Culture As the bell rings, class begins. At this point a teacher can begin creating class culture, and rapport with the students by sharing a short biographical sketch of his or her life. This introduction followed by an icebreaker activity, allows the teacher to begin to learn about the student's lives and interests. There are a number of these activities online and creating a computer folder for student favorites is a good practice. As a teacher of computer skills, the first step is explaining the computer conduct code before a second activity. This activity was specifically designed to further identify individual student interests and gauge computer aptitude. Depending on the number of students and class length, class time is usually close to the end. When the bell rings signaling the end of class, Dismiss your students with a friendly goodbye, and let them know you are looking forward to seeing them in the next class meeting. 3. Creating a positive learning environment The first steps toward establishing rapport with the students have been taken. How does that translate into effective teaching? First, students enter the classroom feeling confident. They have been welcomed. They know where to go and what is expected of them. The teacher continues to build on the activities of the first day and explains daily class procedures. These procedures are practiced until students are familiar with them, thus reducing anxiety and building confidence. An environment has been created where students are ready to learn. 4. Helping students to achieve their goals. Next, the lesson plans students find engaging should be created. Information students share for first day activities, as well as ongoing teacher-student verbal interactions lead to increased rapport and better lesson planning. A wealth of information is now available to the teacher for not only selecting lesson materials, but identifying teaching techniques to be used during class. Lesson plans created with student interests in mind lead to a greater degree of motivation. When students engage in the lesson on a higher level, learning and retention of the concept are better achieved. 5. Controlling the classroom Finally is the management of the classroom. It is well documented that fewer disruptions occur in classrooms, when teachers have taken time to build relationships with students. While it is not the only factor in limiting the number and severity of disruptions, building rapport with students is critical in reducing the amount of time a teacher spends on discipline. Are you ready to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course today. In closing, teaching is challenging and at times can be difficult. Getting students to the point where teachers can begin the process of facilitating the transfer of knowledge to another individual to achieve a specific goal, is often a daunting task. This is true for a wide variety of reasons, many of them outside the control of the teacher. One of the most effective tools a teacher has, is the ability to establish rapport with the students. Gaining the cooperation of students through relationships to actively engage in the learning process, allows for student success at the highest level. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.